I'm Tom Davidson with Ripping Kingston Systems. As an accomplished IT firm, we focus on delivering competitive advantage while reducing your overall IT cost. Two of our more popular offerings are our Google Apps and Virtual CIO. I invite you to visit our website or call for a free consultation. Hey, it's Brian Thomas from the 55KRC Morning Show. Hope you're having a great Thursday. I hope you can stop by the blog page today. Check out the photos from our lunch at Tavern on the Green in uh, Fairfield yesterday. Great turnout and got to see some wonderful folks and meet some new people, which is always a fun time. Uh, I also had a portrait done by one of my youngest listeners, so you can check that out. It's a really good, accurate depiction, too. It's on the last one of the photos. Um, talked to a couple of authors today. Uh, it's actually a book that you should probably get right away. Janie Johnson, author of Don't Take My Lemonade Stand. Kind of a primer on things American, Constitution and, uh, and, and, and freedom and, and capitalism as an idea in ways in which you can talk to your children about it. Because let me tell you, they are not teaching your children about what it is to be a member and living in a free society like we have up to at least thus far. And it's something that your children really need to have an understanding of. Economics and, and, and principles of freedom and how those intersect. Thanks for, for her for writing. Also talked about women's affairs in Iraq. Uh, the name of the author, Manal Omar. The name of the book, Barefoot in Baghdad. She, her, her own personal account. She's American, born the, uh, she's American citizen. Went to Iraq to help work on women's rights and the like. And they have suffered a significant setback, and I was not aware of that. Iraq in the 60s through 80s, open for women in terms of rights. Women judges and women in positions of power completely eroded, or at least largely eroded, and she talks about that and uh, what we can hopefully do about it. So another good book. And plenty of articles. I love reading the fact that uh, Fidel Castro himself has admitted that his economic vision in Cuba is an absolute failure. No kidding. Someone might want to let Barack Obama not know that he shouldn't be following it anymore. Have a fantastic day. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.